everyone this is senior stationery and today's review is on a vintage rotring rapidograph pen thank you mr Legoman. you always have the great goods so let's take a look this special gem i was uh lucky to find it on a lot of um <clears throat> a vintage drawing lot i bought a, a large metal box uh well, of what appears to have been uh, an engineer or uh, an artist from the 1960s and among the the treasures that I found were a couple of brand new rap rapidographs like this one as well as a bunch of used ones and um, I was to be honest more particularly interested on the vintage Faber-Castell lot and Stedler but these were some additional uh, goodies that came with the lot so I wanted to make a review for those who have never seen uh, um, the original rapidograph that made Rotring famous for their uh, drawing pens. So let's take a look. As you can see, the pen was sold on a cardboard box. It says Mark Rotring Rapidograph Rippewerk Hamburg Altona. It's all in German. As you can see, it's pretty simple. It says the 10, 4, this means that the 4 is a point, uh, point 0.4 um, uh, nib, so which you will just see in a moment. Cardboard well kept, as you can see it has a couple area to hold and to pull out the lid. And let's take a look at the contents. We have a brand new, never used pen. It has, as you can see, a golden tone, gold tone trim. Uh, shiny no rust whatsoever so this is pretty much brand new which is pretty rare uh, usually find lots of bunch of old ones on eBay but you really truly hardly ever find uh, old uh, <clears throat> new old stock ones as you can see glossy plastic or resin probably uh, we have over here the point 0 0.4 on the bottom it's also round so it's just 0 0.4 over here on the cap as you can see with light here it says made in germany then we have over here on the barrel we also have 0 0.4 all around it as you can appreciate and over here on the bottom we have the famous red ring it says again 0 0.4 and rapidograph so let's take a look the cap uh on screws as you can notice pretty much like many uh, even current day uh, drawing pens uh, as you can notice it has a very simple but still quite stylish and classic style the semi-rounded maybe we could even say uh, very art deco style this is a 19 uh, I believe 1950s era pen maybe a little bit uh, later between 50s and 60s I believe again we have here around the tip again printed at 0 0.4 so there's no confusion and we have the metal tip and how does this pen gets filled you might ask well uh, compared to the newer ones where you uh, unscrew the, the tip or you can even interchange the nibs and these ones were more based similar to uh, fountain pens so over here in the back we unscrew this part and voila we have the piston over here so we we basically uh, we um, uh, we uh, put the tip on the ink bottle or maybe on a recipient with some ink and then we twist here on, on the cap so it sucks some ink. You must be aware that whenever you don't use these pens, uh, you have to even be way more careful as they might get easily get clogged as the China ink tends to dry faster and clog the tips. Or else you'll need to get some uh, nib cleaning liquid, which is not that easily uh, found in some places. Well, at least here locally, here it's not I've never, I've never seen the liquid. I know it exists, but uh, 
I think I'll probably maybe need to use some alcohol or, or some other or just plain uh, warm water to unclog the nib. <clears throat> Again, this is a brand new one. I have a, I also have a used, several used ones. And I was trying to get one to work, but they seem to probably maybe quite clogged. So I can unfortunately make a, a test for this occasion. I will work on cleaning uh, my other used ones so you can see the difference. Uh, but I basically wanted to make this review so you can appreciate this style and the uh, particular design cues for this pen. And again, here we screw it back. You can also pretty much post it here on the back and gets firmly. And even if you post the cap, as you can notice, we can still see uh, the point size as well as over here on the on the tip. So there's no problem in getting confused what type of point we have while drawing or making any uh, sketches with it. Pretty lovely, uh, an amazing find considering its age. And if we can go back to our box and put aside our pen, we'll have our instruction sheet and something also quite interesting. We also have a blotting paper to clean our nib. It says, and this is in English as you can notice, we have over here uh, the drawing printed with our nib. After filling your pen, please wipe in the space between nib and barrel with blotting paper enclosed. So this paper is used for this. Basically, if we unscrew this again, imagine we just fill this. So we'll use this to clean it and don't have any ink left or gets stuck. And we have a fairly clean when, when done. So as you can notice, this is a pretty rarity. Um, I didn't even know they even included this blotting paper with this pens, but it's a, a lovely find. Again, it's fully complete. And then we have our instruction sheet, which let's take a look. It's also in English and it says instructions for the use of the rapido graph with red ring, as in rot ring. A drawing instrument for marking and drawing with Indian ink. Reference. Uh, so we have, oh, over here, as you can notice, we have the new markings, which is our current ones actually from uh, Rotring. And these were the previous reference numbers. So this is pretty much historic. We have uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1.2. And uh, here we have the previous numbers, which was double zero, zero, one, two, dash, or there wasn't available, and then three, and then again, blank. The Rapidograph is a valuable precision instrument and will render excellent service providing the directions for its use are observed. When used for ruling, ink will not flow underneath the ruler. Due to the special design of the writing tube of the Rapidograph, flat rulers, set squares, and French curves without bevel edges can be used. Of important are the Indian ink, the feeling, care, and proper handling. So, <clears throat> uh, fountain pen ink, drawing ink, or Indian ink may be used. So, we know we can use fountain pen ink. Plastic dissolving and corrosive inks, as well as white inks, which form a chalk-like residue, must not be used. Okay, this is important. Inks of varying composition should be not be mixed together. Condensed ink can be diluted again with distilled water. Hmm. Always keep bottles well airtight. The same applies to fountain pen ink. Rapidograph special ink offers many advantages and it continues over here. And, oh, as you can see, well, we have our uh, illustration of the filling as I showed you we have to uh, unscrew the top cap and then we uh, we have the knob to fill up the system and here we have the uh, the image or illustration of the piston traveling and it says unscrew the small cap 
dip the point and the lower third part of the front into the ink turn groove button anti-clockwise as far as it go turn the button the other way as far as it will go so that the piston is in the upper most position repeat this process once more until the pen is filled completely okay rinse the point and the front part of your pen under water tap okay and again we use our blotting paper and then care and proper handling Indian ink has a strong tendency to dry up very important the pen should therefore never be left lying open but should be tightly closed immediately after use by screwing the cap into place okay uh, and then it says some information of a distributor from Sydney printed in Germany okay interesting so we pretty much have just viewed some important history from road ring okay so i'm putting it back the blotting paper the instructions and let's go back again to our pen if you're curious as to uh the size of this pen compared to the newer and current isograph pens well here i have one this is one of my proper my own personal set again a huge apology i really wanted to make a test and compare the nibs and see how smoother or uh, comfortable are they to draw or to basically sketch or write a little bit with them on vegetable paper. I do have the vegetable paper, but again, this one I did left some uh, India black ink and it dried up, so I kind of messed it up. Sorry about that. So I need to first get it... Uh, to flow again and clean well it's um, it's deposit so allow you for another review the comparison but we might get a look we have well this current isograph it's uh, well burgundy we have it says road string isograph printed we have the red ring here at the bottom which is very uh, iconic if we compare it to this older one and this one well this is something to consider then we have Road train Germany printed on the metal clip, which is quite sturdy. Then over here on top, we also have our uh, point, point 0 0.050, as well as over here on our nib, on our interchangeable nib. So what's the difference? If we unscrew, which again, as you can notice, we unscrew the cap, this looks with a more complex nib, as you can see. The design and part of it, it's more complex. We also unscrew it from the main barrel and as you can see, we have our ink deposit, which we can open and wash, and all our nib, which can be interchangeable for other ones, or if you need to replace it for any damaging or bending, uh, you can get a new one. So how does this compare to the older one? Well, for starters, here in the older one, as you can see, it has a larger cap, more like a, can be easily confused with a, uh, a fountain pen from its era. And this is something interesting that on these newer ones, uh, in the isograph, they made it smaller to notice that uh, drawing pens have a more smaller cap. So this is a good uh, difference to, ma to make a notice. If we take a quick look, as you can see, um, actually, the two looks almost, if not slightly larger on here on the earlier one. And on the newer one, it's a little bit more smaller. But as you can see, the whole nib is quite more complex. It's also screwable, as you can see here by the threads. And this one, the older one, has way more threads, but over here on the midsection. And it's also uh, pretty, has a nice uh, gripping, uh, non-slippery uh, plastic. And lengthwise, uh, it's actually pretty much the same, as you can see. The ring is more pushed on the back on the newer one, as well as well, we have the burgundy typical road trim color. And on this one, on the Rapido graph, well, as you can see, it's fairly the same length, pretty much. But again, with the caps, well, it's different. In both, we can post the caps, although not that easily here on the, on the isograph but still you can post it 
not the best place to have them or they're not quite designed to do this but you still may and on this one yes you can pretty much post it here in the back which unfortunately covers the red ring so let's see lengthwise how does this look well by posting the cap actually the older one tends to be larger and weight wise i feel that this the older one has more heft slightly more heft probably more due to the metal clip as this one is more smaller and more uh, slender so this one the newer isograph does not doesn't feel that weighty despite having probably more plastic parts than this one it's older version which has a piston here inside around this area and but it feels pretty well solid a, a really lovely tool considering its age and the fact that it's pretty brand new with no defects whatsoever so um very lovely find an interesting look and, and a peek on Rotring's history and design cues and as you can see uh, they probably uh, were known for that red ring that's what made them famous and be noticeable among their uh, writing instruments as well as drawing pens for technical drawing so <clears throat> let's return this uh, this little guy here on its box again uh, this pen is actually going to uh, a good friend uh, who bought it from me so it's gonna get a lovely happy home where it will be well cared for and appreciated while for me <laughs> i need to pretty much just clean this 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 guy as well as its other two brothers from my college set but it's interesting to take a peek and appreciate the german design and the iconic uh, attributes that rotring has under technical pens i've drawn with this pen uh, i made some several sketches and drawings on vegetable paper uh, it's truly it draws really beautifully you just must be very careful with your china ink and make sure it's uh it's not spoiled uh you know it's more spoiled when it's more uh watery because when it's brand new the ink it's really really black deep black and it's really tr truly smoothly and draws beautifully on vegetable paper so um I hope you like this uh, this review. Again, this was a comparison from a couple of lovely uh, uh, a vintage with a well, a current. I believe this is still the current style of the isograph, and it's interesting to see how Rotring has kept the uh, the same cues and the same quality, uh, and now we now understand why they're highly regarded and appreciated as drawing pens as well as many of their great instruments. I hope you like this review. I hope to sometime soon be able to make a comparison with uh, writing with both. But in the meantime, I just wanted to make sure that you could appreciate as much as, as I have the beauty of the design and uh, lovely quality from Rotring uh, drawing pens. I hope you like this review and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.